Uh, I think primarily it is it is the economy in general that is driving decision making and thinking of of CEOs uh, because the market uh, the markets not the stock markets but the economy in general doesn't really have a direction for 24 just yet. CEOs are sort of sitting a little bit on the fence and saying, "Okay, well, let's take it one step at a time, uh, and 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 let's be careful in in big, making big investments, and that includes uh, in hiring." Sandra, really good to see you. I'll, I'll ask my usual question to you in a few moments' time about the new jobs, but we'll do that in a few moments' time. Uh, you're, you're expecting, it, I'm sure. But 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 here's my thing. If I've got this amazing technology, which I'm adopting as any company, not just a technology company, and I'm paying a highly skilled person, let's say, 100,000 euros before I had this technology. Now I've got that technology, which is making that wonderful individual actually their job a lot easier. I'm not going to be paying them 100,000 euros to do the same job with a better tool anymore, am I? I'm going to be paying them a lot less, aren't I? No, you're going to be paying them more to do a job that adds even more value, I would say, Steve, uh, because... AI generally in, in many careers, especially in the knowledge workers, AI uh, increases productivity, helps you do a better and a faster job so that you can spend more time with your client, uh, in our case, with our candidates, um, with your colleagues, uh, venturing into new areas. So it's freeing up time to do more high value things. Hang on a second. This AI is so great. I don't even think I need that person anymore, do I? Uh, you will still need that person. You will still, obviously, you will need that person because AI cannot do everything. AI can do a lot. Uh, yesterday, I was meeting with uh, our marketing teams, and if you see in terms of content creation and content production and distribution, it's truly, it's truly amazing. But now um, these people are thinking about how are we going to put it in the hands of all our people. Uh, so there's always more that can be done. Um, you say it's, it will alleviate the impact of talent shortages, but how quickly do those talent shortages turn into talent gluts? Again, I'm going to make, ask the same question from a different point of view. Because you've got amazing education systems turning out incredibly smart people, but let's be brutally honest about it. Even the best brain surgeon on the planet cannot look at the amount of data that a very strong piece of AI can do, AI computing. So even at the smartest level of people, rocket scientists, brain surgeons, we're still going to have AI which can outperform them in terms of their knowledge bank, aren't we? Yeah. Well, but that brain surgeon can now help more patients uh, with surgery or other treatments. Uh, so healthcare will become more accessible, will become more affordable, which is a, which is a good thing in general. So there's lots, uh, there's more good things than bad things, I would say, uh, Steve. Sandy, can I ask you about some of the white uh, white collar jobs? Because what we're seeing, league paralegals, media, text based jobs, advertising jobs, even coders, that seems to be the area where you could see disruption around AI. How quickly is this coming and what does that mean for this tight labor market that we've been talking about? Well, it, it is coming quite quickly. At the same time, if you just sort of look at the business community at large, only one in eight companies is using AI at scale. Uh, that means seven out of eight are experimenting, tipping their toe into the water. Uh, so for, for AI to really uh, get absorbed at scale, get implemented at scale, that will take a while. So uh, we're sort of at the peak of the hype cycle now. You know, everybody's totally excited, but it takes more to get AI at scale in, an, in a responsible way. Um, and that will take time. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.